So today, almost a bust? Almost, no. Okay. It's not a bust. We just didn't realize we forgot that it's Sunday. Okay. And okay. all the parking lots are full. It's super okay. busy here. Okay. Okay. So we got a spot, but it was like 10 minutes from it's the... It's a 10 minute walk, so we're just walking TV down. Yeah. Okay. And once we get inside, might be another 10 minute walk. Who knows? So, okay. we'll get to the gates and yeah. see what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, Jade. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Good girl. Okay, now get the bottom. Get the lunch. Just brush these. And get your tongue. Uh. You got your sunglasses? Good girl. You ready to go? One, two, three, mask on. Mask on. Good girl. There we go. Yay. Yay. So today's adventure is bringing us to Fort Lauderdale. We have a game plan for today, but as anyone knows, uh, plans don't always go as expected. On Mother's Day, we tried to go back to Naples and explore Bonita Springs, but nothing was going our way that day. First, we tried to go to um, a bagel place, and when we got there, they were having some kind of water issue, so we couldn't get bagels there. We ended up finding somewhere else to get bagels, but then it was like 1.30 in the afternoon. Then we went to the place where we planned on eating our lunch and exploring for the afternoon, and there was no parking. It was completely full. We drove around for another 30 minutes uh, trying to find somewhere to park, and we eventually found something that was like 15 minutes from the beach. And we decided to go anyway. We're like, okay, let's just, we weren't even planning to have a beach day. And we were like, okay, let's just walk down to the beach. Um, by the time we got to the beach, um, we were so ill-prepared that we were just hot and sweaty. Um, we didn't have bathing suits. And we ended up just getting on the trolley and going back to the car. <laughs> so by the time we ended back in the car, Gigi was exhausted. So we just decided to go home. And then it started pouring rain. Despite all that, the day ended on a high note because we had a lovely picnic dinner at a local park for Mother's Day. We got guacamole. Oh, mommy. Oh, yes, look at that. Chicken quesadillas. Cheers. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Cheers, Wait, Gigi. where's Gigi's chocolate milk? But today we're prepared. Our first stop today is Hugh Taylor Birch State Park. I love those trees. Yeah, so those are the live oaks, right? I don't know, is it the banyan or a live oak? I don't know, we gotta do some research. The Aboriginal people of this area called those the walking trees because it appears like they're walking. Yeah, because the, the branches go back down into the ground. Yeah. So there's a big loop road that leads around this entire park so you can just kind of hop in your car and uh, go to the next spot and then park and hop out. You don't have to take much with you. 
Okay, so we're gonna head to the next little parking area. Say bye. Bye. See you at the next spot. See Can you say that? See you. See you. At the next spot. So we were planning to go to a local sandwich shop and then head over to Bonnet House Museum and Gardens. But after exploring the state park, we discovered this really cool restaurant called Park and Ocean. Um, it's right in the middle of the park. It's uh, got picnic tables and you're surrounded by trees. It's got music playing and it's right by the ocean and the beach. Um, so it was a really great spot and we decided to eat there instead of the sandwich shop. We're going somewhere else for lunch, but it looks like there's a restaurant here and then access to the beach from here too. Beach tunnel and access, 8 a.m. to 7.15 p.m. So you could park here, explore the park, and then go to the beach. Okay, so we weren't sure if they were banyan trees or called live oak, the ones with the long roots that, or branches that go down into the ground. And we just discovered they're banyan trees. Thanks to this nice mural. Nice restaurant. You know, we had these plans, certain plans to do, um, do some stuff today. Uh, but we found this great restaurant right near the beach. It's in the state park. And we thought it looked awesome. So we were like, let's just stay here and eat. So yeah, you know, you make plans, but you never know how things are going to work out. I was just, uh, I just said when I was walking back to the car that like we set out with certain <laughs> plans. But it's cool that like it changes. Yeah. Right? Well, like, this is a cool spot. I yeah, it's cool that it's we so like scenic. discovered something that we didn't plan on doing. Mm -hmm. And this is, I think this is definitely a better option. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna get like. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. <laughs> <laughs> We ordered JJ oh, a mommy. Oh, oh, a hot, a hot dog. dog. Wait. <laughs> okay, that's for Gigi. Oh, mommy's tacos. Fish tacos. Fish tacos. Mahi mahi. That was like yummy. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> the buffalo chicken wrap. Mm. Looks yummy. These fries good. look good. Look at that. They're like really thin, but they're still french fries. Lunch? My lunch was delicious. Oh. I had <laughs> I had a, a buffalo chicken wrap, and it was really, really good. And these french fries are amazing. Yeah, this was a great find. Mm -hmm. Not what we were planning to do, but it worked out really well. Yeah. So after lunch, our plan was to go to Bonnet, Bonnet House Museum and Gardens, but we decided to go to the beach because it was a really hot day, and we just wanted to have a dip in the ocean. But when we got to the beach, we saw that the purple flags were up, which means stinging beach life. Beach life. <laughs> which means stinging beach life. <laughs> but when we got to the beach, we saw that the purple flags were flying. That means that there's stinging ocean life in the water. Yeah, which means uh, jellyfish or stingrays. So we don't want Gigi anywhere near that stuff. So we decided to head back to the hotel and take a dip in the pool instead. Jump in! Whee! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so cold. 
present, our friends generously offered to buy us a steak dinner once we arrived in the U.S. So that's where we're headed now. And stay tuned because after dinner we're gonna make our first trip to Trader Joe's. So changing plans, the steakhouse was a one hour wait for a table. So we skipped the whole steak dinner, went straight to Trader Joe's, picked up a bunch of food, and now we're headed back home to try out Trader Joe's for the first time. So we got yellow corn tortilla chips, Mexicali salad, barbecue seasoned white chicken salad, mandarin orange chicken. That looks good. Yeah. Dark meat chicken with mixed vegetables. Kung Pao, Kung Pao chicken. Then we have polo asada <laughs> burrito, Mark's choice. And then I got a jerk chicken burrito. We got DGV's <laughs> yogurt things that we like to freeze. Um, we got chicken fried rice, because you can't go wrong. And then we got Mark's favorite, chicken alfredo. Which we're going to have tonight. Mm -hmm. An organic salsa to go with our chips. And for dessert, we got soft baked peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. So we're going to try out our Trader Joe's haul. I'm excited to see what all the hype is about. How is it, Gigi? Yummy. Is it good? You like it? I'd say that's a yes. Ooh, this looks really good. It's like creamy. Good? It's actually good. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like good fettuccine alfredo. I mean, it doesn't look like much in the bowl, but. Yeah, it's actually good. It's good? Yeah. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you like I like it. All right, it's I'm excited. Really good. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> So this is the Trader Joe's soft baked peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. This is our dessert. Yay! <laughs> it's good. Is it yummy? It's very peanut buttery, so if you don't like peanut butter, you wouldn't like these. But I love peanut butter, so no, these are good. Mommy. So overall, our first experience with Trader Joe's, what do you think so far? I think it was great. Like we loved that chicken Alfredo. Alfredo. It was really good for like frozen meal. And we like these cookies. So so far so good. All right. I would recommend Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for today. Things didn't go as planned, but we still had a great time. We'll see you guys next week.